I feel like it has the potential to be the new 1060 that everyone kind of holds on to for forever because it was just punching above its weight. It's got a solid mix of features and performance. Sound off down below, guys. What do you guys think of the 4060 Ti? I mean, I, I looked at those benchmark charts and I thought this was a really, really the solid deal. Level of tech tuber knowledge is way worse than I thought. At least you won't have to wait months for the drivers to get good. Okay, that last one wasn't sarcasm though. There is legitimately a fair bit to like about the RTX 4060 Ti. It supports all of Nvidia's latest ray tracing and AI upscaling bells and whistles. It's much more power efficient than the card that it replaces, and it supports AV1 encoding, which is a huge deal if you stream to YouTube. But you also shouldn't pull the trigger without getting the full story here. Hey, it's the boss back again. This is the final verdict. If you didn't watch the last two videos, make sure you watch them because this is a great series that we're getting on. Now, the video we just saw, what did we see? We saw old mate Linus, and we saw the boys from JS2 Sense. Now that JS2 Sense video was quite good, I'll say that. But it was so good, he pulled it off the channel. Linus, is just Linus. Like, you can't trust anything that guy says. You can't trust his team. You, the bars of soap are like this to, to this. Now look, if you users that don't know anything about overclocking are buying these Ks, the KFs, the KSs, any of the X series, hoping to plug and play and leave it alone, not even go in the BIOS, chuck a cheap water cooler all in one on there and think it's going to be stable and practical and not going to degrade, you're out of your mind. You're absolutely fucking crazy. It's this problem here that could cause us enthusiasts who love overclocking, pushing the limits, forcing the companies to lock it down. Because why would companies want to RMA products that are failing due to negligence from the user checking temperatures and the vaults and all that sort of stuff while they do it? That's it's costing the company. So this could be a road that user sending this down if you don't know what you're doing. An overclockable CPU is like a crate engine. Crate engine is a high performance engine that has to be tuned. You can't just put it in the car and go. You have to check it, dyno run it, make sure everything's fitted right, make sure it's cooling right, the right petrol. Is it going to detonate? Is it all sorts of things that could happen? We are here because of you, not because of Intel or AMD. This has been going on for a long time. I've never once had a um, CPU, especially an overclockable one, run out of the box. And neither would I let it run out of the box, even if it did work. I would, first thing I do, install Windows, jump in the BIOS, see what the temperatures are like, see how high the voltages are, see what the core clock's doing. If you're not doing the homework, this is on you, not the others. So don't point fingers because of your negligence. That's making it, that's making us look stupid. Like we did something wrong. If you do want to get in the space of overclocking, start off with a graphics card. Your voltage limited and you can't mess it up. You might blue screen, artifact, driver failure, games freeze, um, Overheat it, but you're not going to damage it. That's where you would start. Now, CPU overclocking is difficult. Memory overclocking is getting more difficult. Especially if you run an XMP. Because if you overclock the CPU and you think, oh, I'll just put XMP on and I'll be good because that's what the box is. The XMP doesn't always work. It's sort of there like as a guideline, as like, it's, no, 
you have to go in and tune it yourself. We know this, but obviously the new people coming in or the people that think they know it, I'm talking to you that watches the video for 20 seconds, goes in the comments, writes who the fuck knows what, and then we read it and go, oh yeah, he, she's correct, because I watched Linus and he said that and she said this. It's, it's a crazy, crazy space we're in. These influences don't know the cracks and crevices beyond installing a driver, honestly. They share information. I watch all their videos. He does this and he showcases that. And they share the information back to back. It's like... Why not do your independent research, then compare it across the board and see where the problems arise? That makes sense to me. I'm not trusting anybody's FPS or clocks or anything like that because if you jump on the forums right now, you type in a certain CPU and old mates, you know, pumping out 6.4 gigahertz on the 14900K and, he, you know, and he's stable and everything... You have a look at the vaults he's running and he's run Cinebench for 10 seconds and he thinks it's off she goes to the races. Well, no. He didn't validate it. He didn't run a stress test for 24, 48 hours, you know. And then you're pushing it back on us. Like, we don't know what we're talking about. I read all the comments. I see some good ones. So it makes sense. The screen turns off right then. I've seen some good ones. And then I've read some stupid things honestly. Now, I'm going to showcase one of the boys, one of the bros, one of the goats. He is good, if not the best. His name, from Frame Chasers, the YouTube channel, Jufus. Watch what he has to say about your top favorites, and then come back, go in the comments, and see if you change your mind a bit. As the viewer, you as the viewer have to take care of yourself. Protect yourself from misinformation. That's all you can do about it. How I want to start this off is by saying the hardware landscape as a whole is way worse than I thought. Just like the title. We had two people with degraded Ryzen CPUs. Um, and, and I was saying in the last video, this isn't an Intel-only problem. This has been a problem since Zen 2. I actually had one of the guys with the degraded Ryzen CPU buy a consult, and I just fixed it the other day. And uh, his 7950X was blue screening idling. Like, this is the same shit that I showed you guys and it had a device state power blue screen power state device blue something about a power state device right super weird blue screen anyway his cpu was trying to boost to 5.7 gigahertz with 1.47 volts so i legit had to down clock that guy's cpu to 5.3 and like 1.32 volts and then it just, and then it worked <laughs> like it was it was fucked dude. when cpus degrade on mass ignore publicly and just rma silently um and i i, I think that's what intel is gonna do for this one as well because um what's the alternative no like like actually like what alternatives are there that doesn't cost them more money than this if you think about it if they make a public statement um they, their market share goes down their 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 shareholders or their their stock price i should say intel stock price uh one month yeah it's fine it's up overall over the last month so 
all all this like all this pitter patter from gn and all these other tech tubers um linus said it best right uh and in the wan show linus said that um the tech tube space as a whole is basically insignificant like like completely insignificant so all this like kicking and sputtering from all these tech tubers and all these people saying oh ha, ha, intel degradation all the comments saying by amd it means absolutely nothing in the grand scheme of things N name an influencer and they are larger than the entirety of tech tube that's how small we are that's how insignificant we are right that's why i always say just we just need to take care of ourselves out here it's every man for himself right my discord and my community i take care of them we just take care of ourselves all this all these fucking problems all these people have sounds like a you problem okay and here's your fucking evidence the guy that the expert in the industry doesn't know what a vid table is there you go so how the hell is he gonna troubleshoot server farms when he doesn't know what to look for the biggest problem with first mover advantage is that nobody has the authority to call them out essentially right um for for misinformation bad information because they are so large that they can just say that guy is wrong and then the dog pile right it's again like that for every fucking everybody industry. knows that linus linus he like rushes his employees and they put out bad information and then gamers nexus actually went after them for that right which is fucking ironic as shit right but gn using old cpu benchmark data from years prior ddr4 3200 all that fucking misinformation hardware unboxed and not knowing what gear 2 was silently fixing his website without telling anybody and all this like fucking shady ass shit jay using gpu bound scenarios for cpu benchmarks it's it's a complete clusterfuck of misinformation but again nobody has the authority to do anything about it one thing this is not an attack on people's character i'm sure all these guys are wonderful guys to have beers with just dudes like i'm sure it's like their characters probably all probably all fucking legit right this is a criticism of knowledge hardware tech knowledge in our fucking space this was literally okay before i hang on what okay look at this here this was 19 hours ago as the as this look at the dates down here this was 19 hours ago after wendell released all of that all of those videos with gn build zoids like hey can you give me the vid table for a 13700t he literally doesn't know what a vid table is he doesn't know what it is so it's way worse than i thought i thought i thought see when when wendell was like the 7950 x3d works just fine i was like okay I'll, I'll just chalk that one up to he's not a gamer because that was fucking that was terrible advice and then i see this shit i'm like oh it's bad out there it's that none of they boys the, the, these are the people that are running the tech tube hardware space that's fucking insanity so there we are the final nail in the coffin he his claims and statements are fucking to the tit on the point
Give him a follow, give him a like, give him a sub, join his Discord, do what this man says. He is our saviour. We need more like this. The unbiased information that we seek. We can't keep looking like this at the same people on top for the longest of time. But the choice is yours in the end. You can go on the comments now, write what you like and say how I'm wrong and say how he's wrong and everybody's wrong and they know it better and all sorts of stuff. I don't want to shed, you know, I don't want to shed hate on the others because they do a good job. You know, Steve from Gamers Nexus, he does a great job. He puts it in, he puts a lot in, you know, he loves his job. But there's times where you just got to just pull the handbrake up a little bit. And just, you know, tone it down. Steve from Hard Run Box, he does a good job as well, but the, the, the information's wrong, you know. It's it's not correct. It's just it's just shit. That's what it is. Brian from Techia City, I love him, he's good. Watching his you know stuff for a long time as well, and he's on point, he does his thing, you know, he's a real sort of budget sort of guy and budget builder and you know, he shows the best value, you know, he's a top bloke, like, no worries, you know, get a drink if, if I'm ever in Tokyo one day, and, or he comes to Melbourne or whatever, but we need to think and listen and not watch and watch and understand the circle just a little bit, just, just a bit more so we can, you know, sort of grip grip it by the nuts this this time because it's 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 getting it's getting bad like i'm gonna make youtube videos of course i'm gonna watch your youtube videos of course but i can't watch them for information seeking it's a bit like the leaks the one week it's this many gigabytes on the graphics card and the next next week it's that many gigabytes on the graphics card and it's 400 watts and it's 450 watts and it's 600 watts and it's 800 watts and it's the new Intel's not good and the old AMD is better and the cutting to the end. 14900K. KF. The S. 3900K. The F. The S. 12900. 11900. 10900. 9900. Bang, Whatever it ends up. Do your research. Do your homework. Get in the BIOS. You buy the overclocking chip, that's your risk. That's the ticket of a high tuner. You've got to tune it. If you don't, it's on you. Obviously, you can RMA it. You put it back in the system, it's going to do the same thing. Guaranteed. doesn't matter if it's the new one or it's the old one or whatever. If you're not maintaining and tuning and looking after it, making sure it runs cool, it's going to fuck up sooner or or later. Same like the dust on the graphics card. You gotta clean it, you can't just let it run for 100 years and you know, and the fan stops working, and you wonder, oh, I'm never getting my FPS. Like, the Nvidia is crazy. Like, you know, the 3080 10 gig was perfect for my Fortnite games or my CODs or whatever. It's just, uh, just look after yourselves. You know what I mean? So, like me, hate me, you never forget me.